Oh my god, am I gonna get saved? Okay, day 27. We might actually, we might actually do this. Uh, everything was going as planned, but then the fl Fuck. Then the flashlight stopped working. We were lucky to get it fixed in time to hear the distant roar of the plane's engines. Motherfucker, damn it. Hello, YouTube, and welcome to Novelty Gaming. My name is Black Hollow, and this is 60 Seconds. I have seen a little bit of this game, and I was very intrigued by it, and I wanted to pick it up, uh, but I never got around to it. And now I have a PC. So now, that's like the intro to every single game that I have played in the past three days, period. So, uh, let's go ahead and start up a new game here. I d I'm vaguely familiar with it, so I'm not gonna do the tutorial drill thing. Um, but I'll explain just a little bit if you are not familiar with this game. Essentially, uh, it's a survival apocalypse game. You know, go, go figure with all of the art. Um, the, uh, the, the goal is you have 60 seconds to collect as much, uh, stuff as you can acquire from your house, get to your bomb shelter, and then most of the game takes place actually surviving in the bomb shelter. Let's go with the little boy. Let's start off easy, uh, and then, uh, and then we can go from there. So, all right, here we go. Oh, I am excited. So the beginning of this game, if memory serves, is gonna drop us in the house. Uh, we have family members, we have, uh, yep, here we are, alrighty. So we have family members, uh, we have various items that we need to pick up. Oh my God, that's pretty stuttery right now. Maybe I do need a GPU for this beginning portion, but we're just gonna take a quick look around. We got a gas mask right there. Got, uh, okay, I think, uh, I think I see where everything is at. All right, here we go. We got 60 seconds starting right now. Ah, oh, let's get the med kit. Oh man, pressure, pressure, no pressure, no pressure. Okay, get that guy. Now let's keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh man, get a can of soup. There we go. Okay, to the shelter, to the shelter. Let's just get all this shit right here, because it's just right here, just right here. Come on, mash, 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 click, click, click. Get the axe, get the axe. Okay, to the shelter. All right, let's go in here. What's in here, what's in here? We got a chest, chest board, it's not like that. Ah, oh, flashlight, fuck yeah, flashlight. Get the flashlight, always have a flashlight. See, guys, I have a bug out bag, so I wouldn't have to deal with this shit at all. I I would just be, I'd just be ready to, oh, she's too big. She takes up three slots. Okay, all right. Uh, we got the Boy Scout survival manual. I need some fucking water. Oh my God, I need water or we're gonna die. Oh man, oh man, oh man. I'm not doing good, I'm not doing good, I'm not doing good, I'm not doing good. I'm doing a really bad job, really bad job, really bad job. Get him, get him, get him, go, 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 go. Oh boy. Okay, so we're gonna get her down there and now we just need to get some water. We need to get some water right now. We need to get some water. Otherwise, we're not gonna have any water down there. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Shit! Oh my god. Oh my god, I didn't get my wife. Oh, I didn't get my wife. Didn't get my wife. I didn't get the wife. I'm gonna hear about that in the comments section, I bet. Okay, alright, well, we're in the bomb shelter, and she's, uh, she's vaporized, so there's no need to, uh, to really focus on her. Looks like we did get a decent amount of water and a little bit of soup, and we got some good stuff, so, alright, let's kick this adventure off. Day one. So, here we are. The three of us are safe and sound. We just need to make it work from now on. We, we really wish it was four of us. Dude, I... <laughs> feel bad. <laughs> I really do. So, uh, we vaguely remember stashing some things in the shelter because there was no room for them upstairs. Oh, sweet. We got a gun, we got a map, and we got some playing cards. Very nice. I don't know if I got the radio, though. I don't know if I got the radio. I should have gotten the radio. Plenty of water means we don't have to worry about that for some time. All right, time to ration supplies. Oh, I feel really bad about that. But you know what? At the end of the day, at the end of the day, that just means more soup and water. God, I'm fucking brutal sometimes. Uh, that just means more water and stuff like that for us. Play a game, they said. It will be fun, they said. They never mentioned picking one would be so much trouble. We don't have car. We have cards! We have cards! We don't have any games to play? Okay. Well, that's kind of... We, uh, we got checkers right there. I couldn't pick anything? That's kind of weird. Alright, here we go. Day two. All right, looks like uh, we played hide and seek. The longest round we were able to play lasted for around 10 seconds. That was only because the lights went out for a moment. Mary Jane says she's fine. Timmy is making the best out of the situation. Ted is fine. So we don't need to give him any food or water quite yet. Uh, the contamination of our town is still strong. Scavenging in these conditions could lead to radiation sickness. So I don't think we're gonna go outside. We don't need to get anything. All right, uh, what, would be, what would we give? to be able to enjoy the sunshine again. We can't say there's a lot of light underground. We don't expect it to get any brighter down here. Yeah, with the whole, you know, 
clouds blocking out the sun from the atomic blast. It's probably not going to be sun on Earth for a little while, depending on how big this bomb was. Day three. Hopefully the time to leave will come soon. Mary Jane is very thirsty and has to drink something. We can't leave Timmy without water. Where is water when Ted needs it? Alrighty, so let's give everybody a little bit of water. There you go. Awa for everyone. On our way back from our last expedition, we noticed some drawings on a half-ruined wall nearby. It was a very crude map of our town, and one place was marked with an X. Maybe it's someone's secret stash of soup. Shall we go and check? I actually thought that that was a fly flying around my TV for a second there, and I was like, how the hell did it go behind the booklet? Um, all right, well... Our last expedition never happened because we never took an expedition, but I think I do want to cash in on this. I'm going to send Timmy. Timmy, you look pretty spry. We were lucky to have spotted that map, the spot marked out. Oh my god, we got a radio! Yes! That's exactly what we needed. I think it's going easy on me because I picked the little boy. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. Mary Jane is fine. Timmy is very hungry, and Timmy fell sick. Oh no. Alrighty, everybody's doing good. I don't think we need to go on an expedition. We actually got something that we needed. So I don't mind using my med kit on Timmy because he collected the radio that we actually needed. All right, looks like he's doing a little bit better there. That's nice, that's really nice. Day five, we could barely sleep after all that arguing. Let's hope that won't happen again. All right, Mary Jane is worried, or isn't worried. Timmy was cured, Ted isn't complaining much today. All right, looks like we don't need any supplies. Uh, don't really need an expedition. Our hideout was approached by a man we didn't know. He claimed he used to be an accountant, but now he survives as a trader and a gambler. He offered us a card game for a bet of two water bottles. Shall we play? I don't want to fucking lose two water bottles. That guy can piss off. This is the apocalypse. I'm not here to gamble. I have enough water. I don't need any more, and I sure as shit don't want to risk losing any of it. Day six. Gambling is a terrible habit. What kind of example is that to set for the kids? Exactly. We need supplies, but we're not getting them like that. We'd sooner rob someone. We sent that man away. Good riddance. Can we spare some water? Uh, everybody's really thirsty, so let's give everybody some water. Oh, up, 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 up. There we go. Awesome. And our neighborhood. Yeah, I don't want to do any expeditions right now. If there's one person we truly miss, it's our great Uncle Terry. He used to tell brilliant stories about turtles, elephants, and wizards. I think he was lying. It would be so reassuring to hear one of these stories again, and yet we don't have a photo of him, just memories. Let's talk about whatever's in the Boy Scout manual, and maybe we can learn a thing or two from it about surviving. All right, day seven. Everybody's looking good except for Timmy. He still looks kind of down and depressed, even though he's cured. We did it. The photo we were looking for was stuck between the pages of the Scout Handbook. What a lucky coincidence. It's a bit blurry, but it is... Uh, blah, blah, blah. It's a bit blurry, but it is still a wonderful surprise. Everybody looks like they are hungry. Uh, Timmy might not look it, but he's a strong young boy. He's doing just fine. So just Mary Jane is hungry. Okay, all right. I just had to triple check that. Mary Jane, eat up, girl. I don't think that we want to go on an expedition quite yet. Contamination is still strong. We're just within 10 days. Timmy said, uh, didn't say a word about it, but when he was outside, he scratched his hand on a wire and some other rusty piece of metal. His wound is not looking pretty, and we need to do something about it. Let's see what happens. I'm really curious. I'm really fucking curious. I didn't hear a sound. I was hoping for a gruesome sound. Okay, now what? Uh, Timmy was very brave about the idea of cleaning up his wound with the heated axe blade. Oh, I was just hoping that we could, uh, I was just hoping that we could, you know, just chop off the limb. It was a bit painful, but it was, uh, soon over. The axe is in no shape to be used again. What the fuck kind of flesh you got going on there, Timmy? Uh, but Timmy seems much better. Good. Mary Jane is feeling safe. Nothing new to report on Timmy. Ted is hungry. Let's give Ted some food. We're looking pretty good on supplies. Contamination is still strong. I don't really want to go out. When we opened the bunker door this morning, why the fuck did you open the bunker door? I didn't ask you to, I didn't tell you, I didn't click anything to open the bunker door. Uh, to let in some fresh radioactive air, that's precisely what I'm talking about. We discovered a small suitcase on our step, there was no note on it, and the neighborhood seemed empty. Should we take a look inside? Why not? Curiosity killed the cat, didn't kill Ted, didn't kill Mary Jane, didn't kill anyone else, just killed the cat. Oh god, Mary Jane, oh Mary Jane, oh no. It was an innocent looking bottle of water, so we took a sip. We thought we got lucky, but it was a lie. Either that water was irradiated or it was some kind of biological weapon. It made us all feel pretty sick. Fuck. Getting something to drink for Mary Jane sounds like the right idea. Mary Jane contracted an illness. Timmy is very hungry. Uh, he needs some water. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Water and food. Uh, and water for Mary Jane. And what? Okay, so, so water and food for Timmy. 
and water for these two guys and I think I already used my med kit on Timmy. I don't think I can use it. Yep, I cannot use it on Mary Jane. That's very unfortunate. Our neighborhood is still very highly radioactive. Uh, we'll wait a couple more days before we do that. Yeah, it's been a while so we don't know much about what's happening on the surface if we only had a chance to turn into some emergency. Yes, do the radio, do the radio. Yes, do the radio. Okay, what do we got going on for day 10? Day 10, drum roll for day 10. All right, let's look in the manual. We were able to get a weak signal and tap into government's agency into government's emergency announcement service. And guess what? Great news. The fallout outside has mostly gone. It should be much safer to travel on the surface now. Okay, great. So we can go on expeditions. Mary Jane isn't worried, or at least she's not saying it. Uh, best behavior. No need to worry about Ted. Time to ration supplies. Still can't use the med kit. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and put something together. Uh, I don't know if Mary Jane will make it back. I want to keep her here and I want to keep her healthy. It's going to be unfortunate to have two sick people, but I would rather have two sick people and one healthy per Oh, fuck, that's bad. I don't know. I don't know. Mary Jane, you're going to need to find a med kit. Mary Jane, you're going to need to find a med kit. I'm going to send Mary Jane. It's not for the best time or place to make... It's not the best time or place to make plans for the future, uh, but we can't help thinking about what... Uh, we can make of this terrible situation. Is our house still standing, or will we have to move on to some forsaken hole like Toronto? Toronto. Um, don't have anything against Toronto, but never been there, so whatever. Day 11. Oh, man. Let's see where this is going. We can make it work, even in Toronto. Question is, how do we find a boat to get there? Blah, blah, blah. Herds is the best way to get to Europe. Okay, so everyone's good there. Everyone's good there. Everyone's good there. We don't need to give any rations. Enough sitting around. Mary Jane, uh, let's have you take... Uh, oh, shit. What should you take? What should you take? What should you take? What should you take? Uh, take the gas mask. Take the gas mask. You're going to need it. You're really going to need it. Part of me wishes I would have sent Timmy with the gas mask because then it probably would have guaranteed that he was going to be okay. But uh, we'll find out. Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope she hurries back soon with the gas mask. Everybody needs some water. So let's get some water all around. Open in the name of freedom came from a shout outside the door. We weren't sure who claimed to be representing freedom, but we could hear it was a group of people probably armed. Anyone who introduces themselves like that is probably planning to kill someone in the name of freedom. Shall we open? Nope. Day 13. All right, let's see what's going on in day 13. Mary Jane is still gone. Stayed silent until the group on the other side of the door went away. They didn't show up afterwards. Great. Uh, nothing new to report. Nothing new to report. So we can move on. Anything is really weird when you get the feeling that something is watching you. Our shelter is tiny, but we've had this thing bugging and blah, 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 blah. Maybe a rodent of some kind. Nope. It can wander. We are not wasting a gun on that. We already wasted the axe on healing Timmy. Happy to see he's doing better, but seriously, we wasted a fucking axe on that. Uh, as we are running around looking for something to smash that furry rodent with, it just disappeared. So did one of our food cans. The question is, how did that little devil fit through one of the little holes? Ah, <sighs> well, Ted needs some food. So we'll give Ted some food and hopefully we don't die. Confined spaces are not a very friendly environment. We quickly got into an argument. Day 15. All right, day 15. Here we go. Mary Jane is still not back. Stopped arguing, but for how long? Both guys need a little bit of wata. We might be safe inside these walls, but there are other problems to consider. None of us can sleep properly. We have to deal with this as soon as possible. Otherwise, we might end up falling asleep in the face of real danger, like saucer men from Mars. Yeah, I think you do need some sleep at this point. No, I really do think you need some sleep. Day 16. Whoa. You're not looking so good there, Ted. Not looking so good there. Barely ignoring our symptoms, we tried to get at least in one or two hours of sleep. No luck, we're even more tired than we were, and there are other problems we will need to face soon. Let's just hope our yawning will be enough to scare raiders away or save us from radiation sickness. So, Timmy needs to eat something, and that's it. Both guys are just tired. I don't know what I do about being tired. As long as we have food and water, we can stay locked in, blah, blah, blah. Uh, yes, we need to listen to the radio any chance that we get. <gasps> Mary Jane's back! Oh, she doesn't look very good. Oh, you don't look good. What'd you bring back? You bring back anything for us? We made contact. The military is out there and they're coming for us. As uh, all we need to do is just wait patiently. The soldier with the boring voice was very specific about this. Help is on the way. We just need to wait for further instructions and keep our radio in working order. Okay, so the radio is very important to keep working. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning. What did she bring? Uh, who would have thought wooden furniture would be so durable? 
Realize the remains of the local public library. Under the debris, we found some water bottles. Okay, very good. Two water bottles. Way to go, Mary Jane. Way to go. Okay, so Mary Jane needs food. Um, Tinny is good. Well, at least he was five minutes ago, so I'm going to assume that means he's good right now. He doesn't look like he's doing very good. Isn't much new going on. Ted, okay, so you need food, Mary Jane, and I'm sorry, but you're probably going to die. So that's very unfortunate. Ring, ring. There we were, thinking we would never hear another telephone again when suddenly a phone starts ringing from somewhere outside. Should someone go answer it? No one can go answer it, unfortunately, because the two kids are sick and an adult must stay in the shelter at all times. Parental supervision is key. All right, it's just way too dangerous. Mary Jane is quite hungry. Timmy can't go without water. Okay, so water, water, and food. Food, water, and... Oh, water, and water. What was that? Did the radio static just stop for a moment? Let's try tuning in that signal. Yes, please. Every chance that we get, man. Every chance that we get, we need to try to get that army in contact with us. Okay, the radio looks like it's still working good. Some friendly soul on the radio, oh my god, was talking about a supply pack she'd lost during a trip through our town. We immediately realized she must have driven through our street. We rushed out and got the package before anyone else. Two waters, one food, one fucking med kit, hell yeah, and some rounds. Mary Jane's diet could use a little bit of food, uh, and she's thirsty, and Ted is cool. So, Mary Jane, you need food and water. Um... I think I am going to heal you because you're doing pretty rough. Uh, we're not certain about the situation on the surface. Her trip could be risky, but we could really use the supplies. I don't... Oh, man. I don't know if I want to risk anyone going out right now. I don't know if I want Ted to go out. Uh, this might be a mistake, but I think I think I am going to set Ted out and I'm going to have him go with the gas mask. We kept dreaming about those little things we did back in the day. Not anymore, guys. Not anymore. Uh-oh. Someone sounds like they're still sick. You sound like you're still sick. You're supposed to be better, though. I healed you. Mary Jane is quite hungry, but all is well now with her. Okay, so we need food for Mary Jane and food for Ted as well. Ted, you're going to be going out into the wilderness, so why don't you go ahead and take the... Oh, can you take the gas mask? You can only take the gas mask. Okay, best of luck to you, Ted. Oh, man, I don't know how good of an idea that was. Let's see how this goes. Day 21. Oh, shit. Okay, Mary Jane seems fine. Timmy needs something to drink, and Ted is gone. Timmy, let's get you some water. This is probably going to go to shit pretty soon here, so I, I kind of want to just give him... I want cake, too, now. I'm actually... I've been hungry for, like, the past hour now, so I think after this... Oh, Ted's back. And he's not sick! Yes, that means the gas mask is gone, but that means that Ted did good. Ted, how are you doing? As long as we're safe, we can stay down here. Ted is safely returned. Might sound paranoid, but someone may have followed us. Uh, pick our favorite day of the week. It would be Saturday for the bombings. Blah, blah, blah. Reminiscing about times no more. Three cans of soup. Two bottles of water. Hell yeah. That's okay. The gas mask. Fuck the gas mask. Uh, water for Timmy. And Ted needs uh food so water for timmy and come on water for timmy and food for ted ted for food food for ted um i don't think we need to go out anymore i think we're doing actually pretty pretty well how about that trip to nevada we've been postponing for a while now yeah it's not gonna happen not gonna happen definitely not gonna happen day 25 oh boy okay Let's just leave all those questions for now. Can we spare some water? Mary Jane needs it. Timmy is being brave. And Ted is hungry. So Mary Jane needs water. And Tim need, uh, Ted needs food. No surface expeditions after all those days we spent down here. We're not exactly clean. We smell bad. Fuck, we're going to bathe in bullets? No, we're not going to bathe in bullets. That doesn't make any sense. Day 26. What do we got on day 26? Oh, please be ending soon. The world has ended. Well... The game ending, not the world ending. Who cares about showering? We can get used to it. Oh no, Timmy fell sick. Mary Jane's diet could use food. Mary Jane contracted an illness. Oh no. Uh, Mary Jane is rested. Okay, so Timmy and Mary Jane. I'm sorry. Suspicious looking stains cover parts of the page. Okay. Yep, that's, uh, that's very nice. Ted needs uh, water and food. Everybody is infected with something. Okay, so Mary Jane needs food. Ted needs water and food. Mary Jane needs food. Ted needs what? Well, actually, I can just click on his face to do both, I think. But 
Yeah, okay, I don't want anyone to go out right now. We're all very ill. We were able to catch the military broadcast again. This time they're asking us to get out with flashlight and signal their plane. Yes, yes, flashlight. Yes, I actually got it. Oh my God. Oh my God, am I gonna get saved? Okay, day 27. We might actually, we might actually do this. Uh, everything was going as planned, but then the fl Fuck. Then the flashlight stopped working. We were lucky to get it fixed in time to hear the distant roar of the plane's engines. Motherfucker, damn it. We're pretty sure the pilot saw us. Let's uh, see if they get back to us. Mary Jane is still sick. Can't do anything about it. Uh, Timmy needs water and Ted is hungry. So Ted is hungry and Timmy needs water. I'm very sorry, Mary Jane. Can't do anything for you. We're going to save the food. Uh, we didn't expect to hear a phone call. So, so Nope, nope. Not going to go answer the phone. Never answering the phone. Cannot answer the phone. We have a radio. There's no need to go out and answer a phone. Everybody looks like shit. We're all going to die on the same day because we attract or contracted an illness on the same day. It's just way too dangerous to randomly run out into the ringing phone. Yes, blah, blah, blah. You should get Mary Jane something to drink. Timmy is hungry and something should be done about Ted's sickness. I'm very sorry, Ted, but I can't do anything for you. It was Mary Jane. Hey, yes, Mary Jane is thirsty and Timmy is hungry. No one's going outside. Uh, we're a regular family, so we have the occasional argument. Blah, blah, blah. Woe is us. We're arguing because we're cooped up in a 10 by 10 space and have to smell each other's farts. Everybody looks very sick right now. Everybody looks like they're about to die. We're done fighting, but for how long? Mary Jane seems fine. She seems pretty ill. Timmy is quite sickly. Where's water when Ted needs it? All right, Ted. There you go. I'm sorry. I don't have a med kit to use on any of you guys. Let me just double check to make sure this is right. Yep. All right. Okay. All right. Let's keep going forward. Uh, the only thing I could want to get on the surface is a med kit, but the odds of doing that are slim to none. I don't know if they're actually going to get it. These cockroaches aren't playing around. I'm not going to waste a fucking gun if some dude comes knocking at my door or the Boy Scout manual. I'm not doing it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not doing it. Like, they're cockroaches. Deal with them. We're in the middle of the zombie, or the, 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 not the zombie apocalypse, the nuclear apocalypse, or the normal apocalypse. Living with roaches can't be too bad. Mary Jane is pretty fatigued. Timmy needs water. Ted is still sick, so Timmy needs water. That's all I can do. No expeditions, and the radio of ours has been silent for the past few hours. We need news. We need music. We all agree on that, and it's refusing to cooperate. We can meddle with it until it works. Shit. This is the point where I either break the radio or I lose. Don't fuck with the radio. Please don't fuck with the radio. Don't do it. Don't break the radio. Don't break the radio. Oh man, we look terrible. That's a nice little sock puppet you have there, Ted. I, uh, I don't think that means you're doing too well. Uh, sure, experiencing tef technical issues. Yes, that's it. Everything will be fine. Water uh, and Ted has gone crazy. I can see that by the, uh, oh, wait, is it Mary Jane that, yeah, okay, Mary Jane needs water. Yeah, I can definitely see that, Ted, by the friendly sock puppet that you're carrying right now. No one can go outside. I missed my opportunity to go outside and get him back alive. I don't even have the gas mask anymore. It's not for the best time or place to make plans for the future. Uh, yeah, it, just leave it at that. It's not the best time to make plans for the future. This is getting bad, you guys. We are getting ill and sick. Oh no, let's just leave all those questions for now. Mary Jane's condition isn't any better. Timmy is good. Oh no, if Ted doesn't drink anything. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, all right, so Ted needs water. Is that all it was? Mary Jane's good? Well, Mary Jane's as good as she's gonna get, I guess. I don't know if I wanna send an expedition out. I'm, I'm not gonna get the fucking cockroaches. I'm not doing that. I'm not gonna waste shit on them. I'm gonna get a knock at the door the day after that I do that, and it's gonna be some bullshit, like, I'm not doing it. Our new, cockro our new cockroach roommates can be a bit messy, disgusting, and annoying, but this is not the worst thing that could have happened to us. Mary Jane's diet could use food. He should drink. Ted is hungry, so we have food, food, and Timmy should drink. I'm very sorry, you guys. I'm gonna kill y'all. I'm really gonna kill y'all. Um, yeah, bandits running around out there. We're not gonna go out there. That's part of the reason why I'm saving the gun. Gang, that is why I saved the fucking gun. A gang of thugs started banging at our door, ordering us to surrender and give up all of our supplies. How do we respond to these scumbags? Fucking shoot them. Fucking shoot them. It is the apocalypse. Shoot first, ask questions later. Fire the gun twice if you can. Great, the gun broke, because you don't know how to use guns. 
We've taken a stand and shown these bandits who's in charge here. We're hoping they won't come back with more friends. Awesome. That spare ammo we brought came in handy. Actually, if memory serves, it was Timmy who found No, it was Tim, uh, it's Ted who found it. And the rifle is gone. Mary Jane is thirsty. Timmy is hungry. And that's it. Mary Jane is thirsty and Timmy is hungry. No one's going outside. Mary Jane insists she doesn't feel complete without her musical instrument. If she hit it well, maybe her tuba is still safe somewhere in the ruins of her house. A reminder of her hobbies and what life used to be. No, no, suck it up. Suck it up. Suck it up. We're almost there. Army's got to be there soon. Oh, Army. Please say you're right around the corner. I should have fucked with the radio when I had a chance. Risking your life for a tuba? Madness. If it was a guitar or something or like a trumpet, but a tuba? <laughs> Playing the tuba won't put soup on the table. Okay, Mary Jane seems fine. Despite the dire circumstances, all the trouble we're going through, Timmy is being very brave. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like I need to give anybody anything. Tim, or Ted, are you gonna die? It didn't tell me how you were doing. I think Ted might die tonight. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, no one can go to the surface. Oh, man, the roaches seem to be getting more organized with every passing. I'm not gonna fucking kill the roaches. Deal with the roaches. Why are they insisting that I deal with these roaches? Why? Okay, all right, everybody's still alive. I keep thinking that the roaches are gonna fucking kill us. Our time will come, but for the time being, we'll just have to adapt to the living situation. Uh, they're only cockroaches. Can't leave Timmy without water. Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave. Um, so Timmy needs water. Oh, he needs to get a drink. Okay, so Timmy and Ted both need water. Nobody's running outside. There are indeed bandits. The military is communicating through the radio again. We're sure it was a signal to evacuate out of here, but it turns out they need our help. The speaker requested that all able citizens in the area should chop... Fuck. Fuck. Fuck! No! No! All because I healed Timmy, man. Damn it. Shit. Day 37. Timmy. I healed you so you could die slower. We're not lumberjacks. We don't own an axe. We, I'd happily do it if I own an axe. Can we spare some water? Mary Jane needs it. And Timmy is quite sickly. Okay, so Mary Jane needs some water. No expeditions. And yeah, that should be okay. Man, I feel like I'm just delaying the inevitable at this point. What? We died. We fucking died. <laughs> Damn it! No! The enemy stormed into our shelter, but instead of grabbing our supplies, they got Mary Jane. She put up a fight and kept biting her kidnappers furiously. We hope they didn't hurt her. They probably killed her. Timmy was very sick and there was nothing we could have done to make it better. He understood it and probably decided he's better off far away from such irresponsible parents, parent. He left and never came back. Ted has been sick for far too long and he was too weak to keep on going. He passed away in his sleep. Surviving the apocalypse was no easy task. We can tell you that much. You spent 40 days in our shelter. Oh my God, man. Holy shit, this is a hard game. So you can pause if you wanna see what happened, but uh, yep, that's it. Had I had the ax and not healed Timmy at the beginning, I would have been able to chop down that tree and I would have been able to save us. But unfortunately, that is how we end this episode. I am going to come back and make another episode of this game because I do want to beat it. There are several challenges such as saying yes to everything, such as only grabbing certain things, such as only getting certain family members. So there's many different ways that I can approach this game. Uh, and a few channels on YouTube actually have like long running series dedicated to this game. Um, I'm really excited for it to see where it goes from here. I enjoyed it a lot. This is the first time I've ever thoroughly played it and seen any portion of it. I just understood the beginning and the fact that you went to the survival. So that really threw me for a curve there, seeing Ted's skeleton just, just sitting there fucking dead. That was like, my jaw was dropped on that one. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the game. I encourage you to try it out yourself if you do enjoy it because the possibilities are endless. Uh, it's RNG spawning at the very beginning of the game that drops all of the, uh, it's all randomized for the, you know, the water bottles and the gas mask and stuff inside of the house. So every time you play, it's going to be a different stressful situation. So friends, if you enjoy what you see and only if, leave a little love in the comment section or leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss the rest of 60 seconds and whatever comes next. As usual, enjoy the rest of your day. I will see you guys again.